What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Aston Shanae. Welcome back to The Juice. All right, baby child, I'm back. It ain't too much going on around here in these streets. But if you have an advanced degree in notoriety like I do myself, then you know I can find the messiness in any situation. Messy, 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 messy. And y'all already know that's just the way I all right, baby child, somebody at DoorDash is getting fired. <laughs> Some way, somehow, a glitch happened at DoorDash and people was uh, allowed to buy thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars worth of stuff for free on old cards that don't even work no more, on cards that ain't even uh, connected to a bank accounts no more. Uh, I've seen some people saying they order stuff off their food style cards. <laughs> I'm lying about that one, but I wish I would have known about it, okay? <laughs> so, kind of way, I end up missing the, the DoorDash glitch. I, I should have been off of that. <laughs> I would not have let this pass. Ooh, and child, it's almost back to school time. Listen, Gavin would have been walking around here with Gucci purses. <laughs> Look, Gavin would have been wearing red bottom shoes to the fifth grade. Like, <laughs> we would have been. She would have had Michael Kors purses. Listen, they would have been mad at my baby if I could have got a hold to this door dash glitch last night, okay? They probably would have had to kick my baby out of school from all the ruckus she would have been causing. <laughs> baby, they would have thought Gavin was a queen going through the house of the elementary school. You hear me? <laughs> Anyway, it was going on so bad last night that people was ordering thousands and thousands of dollars worth of merchandise. People was ordering TVs. People was ordering Wingstop. People was ordering hundreds of boxes of Pampers, which I can't blame them on that. Baby milk. I even seen this dude buy 27 bottles of Casamigos, 30 bottles of another, the same Casamigos, but smaller, 30 bottles of Don Julio. And another 30 bottles of Don Julio. Like, and the bad part is, <laughs> they actually got it for him and delivered it. I can't find that picture right now, but I did see it. If I find it, I'm going to post it. But, baby, I don't know how these people are going to explain it later on. I don't know what DoorDash is going to do. I don't know if they're going to get it back in blood, but <laughs> I just know. <laughs> Boy, they had a time last night. Boy, they had a time last night. And I, for one, hate that I missed it. Mmm, mmm, messy, 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 messy. And y'all already know that's just the way I like it. Moving on. Let's do a little dilly and dallying with the Kardashian Jenna clan. Uh, first off, let's talk about the fact that they are now white women again. I ain't nothing wrong with that. I think it's actually cute because they have gone back to their roots. Well, half of their roots anyway. Kim is now with the comedian guy. I forgot his name. Don't care to remember it. Chloe is doing Chloe, but she done had all of her, um, uh, how do I say this? She done had all of her additives removed. You know, she was big back here and she was big up here, but she done took all that out that she had added and now she's very, very small. Kim did the same. She took a lot of her back out and a lot of her front out and even maybe some ribs out. Allegedly. 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 Okay. Okay, so speaking of Kim Kardashian and the alleged procedures that she had done, I was on Us Magazine, you know, minding my business being nosy, and they had part of an interview that she did with Allure Magazine. She says, a little bit of Botox, but I've chilled, actually. The Kardashian star added, I've never had eyelash extensions. I've never done anything. I have a drop of mascara on today. I've never filled my cheeks. I've never filled my lips. Okay, girl. So anyway, <laughs> so anyway, as of lately, I have, and a lot of people have also noticed that she allegedly, her and Chloe, and if you see Chloe now, which I'm going to put a picture up on the screen, you can see that both of them have allegedly had a lot removed from them. Now, we don't know if they're doing that so they can go back into their um, winter princess look, if you get my drift. But I think it looks good on them, to be honest. Now, Chloe look like she might need some ham hocks and a little bit of cabbage. But I still think 
Chloe looks good and it probably makes Chloe happy because if you ever watched their show back in the day which I used to and, I, and I'm not ashamed to say it but if you ever watched their show back in the day Chloe has always commented and said that she was always known as basically the fat sister and she hated it at one point in time i even remember chloe saying they didn't even talk to her like none of the other sisters really talked to her and included her in going out with them and taking her like on trips until she got a little older and started losing a little bit of weight so i know like i said she's been struggling for a long time so i'm happy for chloe now other than the fact that chloe got to deal with third trimester tristan i'm still happy for her and speaking of third trimester, Tristan, I know y'all probably heard by now, but I still cannot not miss out on the messiness and let y'all know. We do have a new girl that came out a couple of months ago, and the baby is a couple of months ago. And guess what? After they did the test, he really is the pappy. Messy, 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 messy. And y'all already know that's just the way I like it. Moving on. Okay, so rapper Big Sean and singer Janae Iko allegedly have a baby on the way. She's been spotted in some pictures sporting a, a cute little baby bump. And as y'all know, she already has a daughter from Omarion's brother, I think, with his fan self. But anyway, child, she know how to pick them, don't she? <laughs> okay. <laughs> now, child, while I'm doing too much, Summer Walker is also expecting her second baby. Now, y'all know her first baby is from um, the producer London on the track. Now, he has about 50, 11 other baby mamas and babies who also are very, very messy. But, child, I, j I just don't have the energy to get into it right now, believe it or not. But anyway, she is having her second one with her boyfriend who a lot of people think is new. But word on the screen is that he was here before London on the Track was. And basically London on the Track was the side and ended up being the main because he got her pregnant with the first child. So like I said, Summer is pregnant and she's looking good. She's looking happy. But she wants y'all to keep y'all hands to y'all self and stop touching her stomach when y'all come to see her at meet and greets okay now also there were some rumors that Nicki minaj was pregnant with her second baby and those rumors stemmed from the fact that when she was on stage at essence fest some people swore up and down that they saw a baby bump i have learned recently to not say that you see a baby bump on women i've learned not to say that because sometimes it is and sometimes it ain't even if it is let people enjoy announcing their own pregnancy and if it ain't stop embarrassing people because you don't know what people be going through at the time okay y'all know how we are y'all know we women we fluctuate we go up and down we go up and down we go up and down so there was also rumors that her husband kenneth petty was supposed to be doing a bid i think it was 18 months to three years the prosecutors in la wanted to give him because he left from new york and y'all know he has those sa charges so anytime he leaves from new york he is supposed to and required by law to register wherever he's living and when you register as a sa person you're supposed to make your address public so y'all already know Nicki minaj wasn't having that now those charges ended up being dropped i think not maybe not dropped but he ended up getting probation again i guess so i think he's gonna be on lockdown no what's the word for it on the house arrest <laughs> he's got <laughs> child Arona got my man fried he's gonna be on the house arrest for over a year i think maybe two to three years and he's gonna do it at nikki's house and the only downside to that is that her address may or may not be public but i hope people ain't crazy and, and don't go to the girl house because y'all know y'all be doing too much so anyways nikki being miss petty that she is the night that it was announced that he won't be going away she posted a picture of him her and papa bear in front of the very nice expensive home and the nice expensive car okay <laughs> <laughs> Nikki like don't worry about my family worry about your mammy okay so anyway moving on child speaking of babies uh elon musk and his constituents are on twitter ripping him a new rump okay apparently this man had a secret set of twins that nobody found out about until they found out about him and as i'm reading these tweets 
this man is messy. Messy, messy, messy. And y'all already know that's just the way I like it, okay? One of these tweets says, Elon Musk harassed a flight attendant. One of his kids never wants to talk to him again. And he kept two other kids, the twins I was just telling you about. He had with an employee a secret. An employee, child. The fact that legions of young men are worshiping this guy is really tragic. And another tweet I read says, Elon Musk has dipped his pen into the company Eek and secretly had twins with an executive at whatever company. He has nine kids. Nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine kids and his oldest has completely disowned him basically times person of the year is a rich a white man who impregnates his subordinates and neglects his own kids lord have mercy jesus got to my ted dog got to mosley <laughs> now you know you shooting bad when your people, and y'all know what people I'm talking about, you know you shoot bad when your own people, your own people is ripping you a new one because you around here spreading cheering all over the universe. Now this man is rich. This man is powerful. This man trying to buy Twitter along with all the other stuff that he can afford on planet Earth. So I ain't gonna talk too much. <laughs> Because I don't want him coming at three. So, uh, moving on. Now, speaking of broken situations, Tyrese and his new girlfriend done broke up. Child, I don't know if it's girlfriend, fiance, wife. I really don't know. But, uh, y'all already know Tyrese ain't. Y'all already know that man ain't. Something, something wrong with that man. We, we, we just gonna... <sighs> We just gonna leave it at that. To so end up breaking up with his new wife. I think they ended up having a kid together too. Child, she flew. She flew her own self out. She got out of that situation. As soon as that situation was over, he got into a situation with this um this girl right here. And now it's over with them. He put a ridiculous status up on his Instagram. I'm not even bothered by reading it. But I will put it up on the screen if I remember it. Because 9 times out of 10, I ain't. But anyway, they broke up and they ain't together no more. I'll get them about two weeks and it'll be, <laughs> it'll be back. They'll be back. He'll be back on there saying how much he love her and how much he ain't gonna never let her go. Now, speaking of bull jive, y'all, I don't know if y'all have been hearing about Mr. Trey songs lately. Uh, Well, it ain't really lately because Kiki Palmer tried to tell us back in the day and obviously we wasn't listening. I don't know if y'all remember when Kiki Palmer, I remember looking at this video just so good. When she was saying that she was at a party with Trey Songz and she had to literally hide in a closet, I think, if I remember correctly. If I ain't, I know y'all correct me down in the in the comments. But if I remember correctly, um, her saying that Trey Songz was uh following her around the party and coming on so strong to her and just aggravating her so bad that she literally had to hide in the closet to get away to get away from him. Um, people just really didn't believe her back then, kind of laughed at her, and just was kind of pushing it off as, you know, it's Trey Songs. it wasn't really a big deal, yada, 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 but all these stories, and I mean, all these women have been coming out lately, allegedly, have been coming out saying that he did this to them, and he did that to them, you know, I can't get deep, deep into the details, but I can read you part of the article that the neighborhood talk posted to their instagram blog basically a lady had took out a 20 million dollar lawsuit against him for him allegedly saying her and it says 20 million dollar sa lawsuit against trey songs dismissed accuser plans to refile at a later date so it says the woman who accused trey songs of um saying her at a Los Angeles party dismissed her lawsuit after the singer came out against the allegations. According to Radar Online, court documents reveal the alleged victim Jane Doe has informed the court she wants the entire action thrown out but did leave it open for the chance to refile at a later date. Doe filed the lawsuit in February with the help of her lawyer George Verbeck. In the lawsuit, the woman accused Trey of S.A intentional infliction of emotional distress and false imprisonment now let me just say this i don't know if this story is true or not but uh, of course i'm leaning towards 
one way because all the stuff that has been coming out against him lately but how are you going to take that all the way to court and give all the details of what he supposedly did to you and then just drop it out of nowhere i don't like when people do stuff like that because i feel like even if you are telling the truth and i'm pretty sure it's some truth to it allegedly i feel like you shouldn't but you know what let me stop there let me let me check myself let me check myself because I don't know what's I don't know what's being said or done to this lady behind the scenes. So you know what, Aston, mind your business on it. Let, let's just be nosy and messy. But let's let's you know. I, I, I'm 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 gonna just drop that. I'm gonna drop that because I was going to somewhere I shouldn't have been going. So anyway, that's the situation with that. She bought the lawsuit up against him. Then all of a sudden she's dropping it, but she is leaving it open for if she want to bring it back up later. So moving on well i'm definitely gonna need you guys opinions in this situation because y'all know i don't get other people's business like that well we're about to be out of here but before we go we want you guys to leave us a like and remember to subscribe to our channel for the juiciest gossip commentary around and don't be shy leave us your opinions in the comments good bad or indifferent i love them all and with that being said you guys we are out of here